go, start the second half. Just got a little bit peckish, so my second very healthy dry pie. Singapore with an early sortie down the field. Ali Preisler just tidying up. She's lost a player now. A little bit of space for Singapore to move in down this left wing. Nice turn there. Great little turn. Can she deliver with the left foot? She does. And there's a shot. On, it wasn't a shot on Tiger, but the ball's still there. It's still alive. ISM, ISM need to get this away. The whistle's gone for something. The whistle's gone for something. And the referee's indicated a goal kick there. The ball must have gone out of play. It looked like it had from up here. But never can tell. Malika Jamal with a goal kick. Hits that across field. That's difficult to deal with. You don't like those as a full back. Don't like having to, having to control a ball in the air as last man coming across the field. Yeah. Much better there from Megan Martin. That's a great two-handed catch. No worries at all. And also a good kick downfield straight to a Steffi Fernandez who turns a player. A little bit of body work going on the sideline there. A few shoves from both players, but referee lets the game continue. Steffi throws the ball inside to Trinity. Gets it back, passes it to Sienna Hag Hagadon. Sienna tries to thread the ball through. Singapore goalkeeper lets it go out for a goal kick. Just remind, sorry, Singapore goalkeeper, that her number, the number 45, is not listed in the programme. So I'm not sure of a name. The number one listed is, is Sarah Mutton. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that's her, that that's Sarah in goal. Steffi Fernandez again down the sideline. Turns back. Oh, I think she's fouled there. It's a foul from Gabby Kim, the number two for Singapore. Had a fantastic first half. Certainly my player of the game so far. Very good defender, very composed. You got the wall for Singapore. Looks like it's about looks like it's about 15 meters back. Makes the referee's job easy. Oh, and that's a miss here. Can we get a shot on target? That's a great save by the Singapore goalkeeper Steffi there with a right-footed shot. Anywhere else, and I think that would have been in, but straight to the goalkeeper's right hand. Goalkeeper with a good clearance up the field to number eight, Sydney Stuckman. That's the best chance of the game so far for the Bearcats. I'm sure that will boost their confidence a little bit as long as they can get this ball out of the box and up the field. Put a little bit more pressure on Singapore again. Good tackle there from the captain, Andy Preisler. Have you had one of these pies? I mean, one of these pies. They are the driest pie I've had in my life. They're, I, w I wouldn't say they're not very nice. They're just dry. It's like eating, it's like eating sand in pastry. Like chicken, chicken flavoured sand. Tackle there from Ali Preisler. Gives a corner to Singapore. I'm sure Megan will be prepared to deal with this one. To her usual standards. She'll catch this clean. I'll punch it out. Yes, these are the driest pies I've ever tasted. Good corner there from Singapore. Ball's bobbling in the box again. Reminiscent of the two goals that Singapore have scored. But this time the referee sees an infringement. Singapore now with a shot. That's better. That's what we expect from you, Megan. Great save. Good girl. Oh, what happened there? 
That just didn't look right to me. Looked like the looked like the um, number five from Singapore just knocked the ball out of out of the way when Megan was going to make the kick. I, I, actually, I think that's probably legal, to be honest. As long as you don't raise your feet to the goalkeeper, then she throws the ball in the air. Then I guess you're entitled to challenge for it. So some smart play there from the Singapore number five. Daniela now number two, Daniela van der Brink down the line, down the line. Her brother also plays for the, the boys team, for the Bearcats. Natasha Carlisle getting more into this game in the second half. It looked like she just turned her ankle there. Clearance from Gabby Kim. Number 18, Emma Gordon with a header there. But heads it straight back into the middle of the field. Singapore need to clear the lines, and they do. Yes, yes, yes. Sienna Hagedon trying to get across there to cover for Manoli. There's a big hole down this right-hand side now. It's a nice threaded pass through to number eight for Singapore. Oh, and that's a fantastic turn. If this is a goal, that's one of the best goals I've seen in girls football at Iasis. That was an unbelievable turn. If you can make a replay of that and post it somewhere, that was fantastic. To take the ball on a right foot, moving across the body, to turn and to spin and to hit that ball first time after the bounce, that was fantastic. Not much a defender or goalkeeper could do about that. That's just a fantastic goal. I didn't like, in all the excitement, I didn't get the number of the scorer. It looks like it could have been Casey, the number 21, who just scored the goal. I'm not sure. Let's hope the Bearcats don't fall. That's okay. That's okay. They just need to get their composure back. Try and get themselves back into this game. 3 0 now to Singapore American School. Bearcats making a tactical change now. Natasha, Natasha Carlisle leaving the field. Kenza Manning coming in to play a bit of a holding role. Just sit in between the midfield and forwards, I think. Hopefully to give the Bearcats a few more attacking options. Kathleen early there, just shepherding the ball out of play. Takes a throw in, but straight back to Madison. Madison gives the ball away, back into the midfield. This is the same, same sort of attack that Singapore Eagles have just had. They're now two on one. That ball goes early, she'll be onside. She is, that's a good first touch towards goal. And a good tackle by Ali Preisler. Knocks the ball onto the Singapore left midfield player. and goes out for a goal kick. Yeah. 
So if it was Casey Cialetta who scored that goal, what a fantastic goal you just scored. If her family are here or relatives, friends, watching, listening, go back, get that on video and, and post it somewhere. That is a, 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 an outstanding strike at this level. I've not seen a goal like that in, in 14 years at IASIS. Yes. Really was outstanding. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh. ISM now just under the cosh a little bit. Need to get this ball up. That's a great kick from Megan Martin. It's a good 50 yard kick down the field. ISM now. Steffi takes the ball out to the left side. Characteristic step over. And she'll drag the ball back usually. She tries to. Little pass inside. Trinity there just losing the ball. Ball gets pushed through to Hannah Riley. Clears back upfield for the Bearcats. Good header out of the back line by Singapore, but Malai times that. Goes onside. Should be a goalkeeper's ball. It's going to be a challenge outside the box. It is a challenge outside the box. That's good pressure from Megan, but unfortunately there's a collision there with Kiss Casey. She's getting up though, she's good, she's fine. That's what you'd expect in football, you're gonna get collisions, you're gonna get challenges. As long as you don't fanny around like the professional players do in England. Maybe that's not the best terminology, but it works. Another great left-footed strike there by Casey Chialetta or Chialetta. Two great goals she scored. Great 11, so hopefully she'll be back, back to play Iasis next year for the Eagles. So 4-0 now with, with 20 minutes to go. ISM only mustered one shot on target this second half after quite an even first half. Just the two Singapore goals from defensive errors separating the team. The rest of the play was quite even, quite well balanced from both halves, but definitely this half, Singapore have, have done a lot more, but this could be a chance for Paulina Carson just gets there a little bit too late. It looked like the number four, Morgan Werner, She's against the post, I can't see her number. I think that was the number four, just made a clearance just before Paulina could get there. Bearcats really need something in the next five minutes if, they, if they're going to challenge to get a result from this game. Great cross from Kenzie Allen. Arling, good clearance from Singapore again. They've got a one-on-one -on -one if this ball goes early. They've got, on, they got two on one now. Andy Prizer really needs to dig in and get back. Good job, Malaika there, Malaika Jamal. Just get rid of it, Malaika. She does that very well. And rightly so. Have a go at a few of her teammates. Need a little bit more teamwork there to get back and defend together. Can't expect your sweeper to take on two, two defenders. Good 
here the EAG LES cheer from the Singapore boys team down below us out here in I think it's 35 degrees now Eagles their team leading Manila by four goals to nil another cross comes shot goalkeeper for, Bearcat, for the Bearcats Megan Martin not having to deal with that one Lots of comments now coming from the Manila dugout. Coach Steph is trying to arrange things, trying to change formation. Looks like she's trying to get another player in the middle of midfield. It just, it's a little bit sparse in there right now. Number 17 for Singapore's down on the ground. Hopefully she's not injured. She's, she might be injured actually. The referee stopped the game, but she's got straight back up. I don't know what's happened there. She sat down and as soon as the whistle went, she, she got straight back to her feet. Hopefully she's okay. The way she's walking, looks like she might have a bit of cramp or might have turned her ankle. Take a knee, ladies. Take a knee. I've heard that a few times at Singapore American School. Take a knee. And that comes from the softball coaches, maybe, filtering through. Why? Why have they done that? Referee, there was clearly, Manila were clearly in possession of the ball. And now you've given the advantage to Singapore. Well, let's see what happens. Singapore with another attack. Manila need to clear their lines. They do that through Georgie Pekin and Daniela Vanderbrink just combining there. Trinity not able to get on the end of that, but Sienna Hagendorn gets the ball in midfield. She's got no options right now. No options at all. All she was left with is a hidden hope, hidden hope into the corner, but that breaks down. Number five for Singapore now breaking down the left wing. She's got a player on the far post if she can cross it, but Sienna Hagendorn dis dispossesses her. Little pass out to Lau Pena. Lau Pena uh, running the ball up the line. Some great tackling back. I don't think there's anything wrong with that referee. But the referee gives the foul. Gives a foul against Louisa Blake, the number seven for Singapore American School. Looked like a fair challenge from 60 yards away. Singapore American School definitely controlling the pace of the game now. Manila just looking a little bit, a little bit flat. Maybe a bit overawed by the situation. There's a, another shot that goes wide of the post. Just over 15 minutes now, or just over 16 minutes of the game left. Be nice to see ISM do a little bit more with the possession that Singapore is affording them. The ball's behind the trees, can't see what's happening, but pops out of the trees straight to Megan Martin. Anyone want a dedication or anything like that? Just send a tweet to at Bearcat Doddy, D O D D Y, and um, I'll do what I can to share your message with everyone listening, wherever you are around the world. We've already had messages from Asia and North America. So let us know where you are. Good break down the right here from Singapore American School crossing, but no one on the back post to collect that ball. Ball goes out harmlessly for an ISM throw. ISM down by four goals, 15 minutes left. It's not impossible. But we need to see, need to see more from, from the Bearcats if they're gonna get a goal, never mind a result.
Oh, that's, a that's a penalty. The referee's given a penalty there. It looked, it, it definitely looked from here as though it was outside the box. I think the players think it's a free. No, it is a penalty. Not a lot of argument from the players, so maybe it's just my mistake. Maybe it was inside the box. Could you see the foul or a handball? Did you? So foul, just inside the box there. So Georgie Peakin, daughter of our athletic director Mark Peakin, to take the spot kick. Usually right-footed to the keeper's left. That's where it usually goes. This time, top left-hand corner. That's a great strike. I don't care how good a goalkeeper you are, you don't save those. So I watched ISM Bearcats play this weekend. They had a local final. And it wasn't until they were 4-1 down with, with minutes remaining that they actually had the impetus and urgency to, to take the game to their opponents. And they did very well, but still they didn't manage the win. But maybe that's what it's needed for ISM. Maybe now they've got this goal, they can really mount some sort of effort against the Eagles, who still look quite composed. But if ISM can nick another goal here, we'll see, we'll see how composed SAS really are. But they're doing a great job so far. Here goes Steffi again down the left side. She'll get down to that side. She'll bring the ball back. That's what she usually does. That's like a trademark. She does exceptionally well. There's a corner for ISM. I think only ISM's second corner of the game. Kenza Malling to take this corner. She's got a great right-footed strike. This should certainly enough power and distance to get it over the goalkeeper's head. I fancy Georgie Peakin to get on the end of this cross. That's a good strike. She's going to drop short into the six-yard box. Here it is. Challenge. Goalkeeper's got her hands on it. That's a good take from Sarah. Goodbye. Hannah Riley at the back now. No pressure. Just going to be closed down by Singapore number 17. Up to Ali Price. Ali Price needs to win this ball and then go up the line. But she, she wins the ball but knocks it out of play. Substitution for Singapore. Number four, Morgan Werner making way. Team captain, Caroline Indebrecht, back on. I'm sure the coach wants her just to settle things at the back for the Eagles. And here she is with her first touch. Notice she's got a very interesting mannerism that just before she's about to hit a long ball, she clasps her hands together. When she controls it, she doesn't do that. So if I notice that as a player, then that would be a good little cue, a good little poker cue. Is she going to take it? Is she going to control it and pass it, or is she going to hit it first time? Hands clasped. She hits it first time. I wonder if she knows that she does that. I have no idea. Well, she will when she listens to this, but... So Manila with another sortie into the Eagles half. Steffi there with a little, oh, she might get it back. She does get it back. That's offside, that's got to be offside. Yeah, offside, bit of cramp I think now for Trinity. Just cramp, hopefully she'll be okay. Why does cramp hurt so much, even though it's so insignificant? So we've got a coach and medic on the field for the first time this morning. So there's going to be a free kick, the offside infringement. Just under 10 minutes remaining. You can see a lot of the ISM students making their way back to classes. 
I hope they ask their teachers as soon as they get back to class if they can come out and watch the rest of this game. Ten minutes remaining. Try and give these Bearcat ladies all the, all the support they need. As difficult as it sounds, three goals in nine minutes. Not impossible. Hannah Riley with a good clearance upfield. This might fall to, to Sienna Hagedorn. It does. A tackle there from Singapore. Should be an ISM ball. No, nope. it's given to the Eagles. Maybe my bias coming through there. 50-50s are a Bearcat ball as far as I'm concerned. That looked like a foul on the edge of the box there by ISM, but just a, just a collision, I think. No ill intent. Singapore now just maintaining possession. Exactly what they need to do if they're going to see this result out. They've certainly played some very good football and ma maintained possession very well in their own half and when they're attacking. Tasha Carlisle, clearance with a left foot there out to out to Madison, McPherson, Madison loses the ball, back to Singapore, Ali Preisler there with a tackle, and uh, attempted through ball, I think Manila really need to get the ball up, Singapore half, just to alleviate, from the dugout some urgency for these last seven or eight minutes Madison there with the challenge that could be a cut referee's given that a free kick against the Bearcats for a push in the back there's more a push than a challenge I guess Send a tweet to at Bearcat Doddy if you want to mention from where, whatever part of the world you are. If you want to share some of your IASIS memories. IASIS soccer here in Manila for the first time in six years. Brand new turf we had laid this summer. Certainly seeming to suit the Eagles. Of Oh, great from Megan Martin. Just fall out to her left. It's a very good save. Emma Gordon denied there when it looked like it looked like it was easier to score, but closed down very well. Some good goalkeeping, technically very good goalkeeping from Megan on that occasion. So corner to Singapore, it's a short corner, looks like a well worked set piece but tidied up by Kenzum, Kenzum just pushes the ball out to, to Steffi, Steffi going to use her pace now, probably one of her tricks, there she goes, little tackle there, tackle by the Singapore number 18, Steffi with a throw straight back into Kenzum, Kenzum with a through ball to Madison, Madison just dispossessed. Mackenzie Werner there, just taking the ball from her. Nice little interplay between Singapore. That's a good through ball, but Andy Prizer just tidies up pretty comfortably. Passes it outside to her sister, Ali. Ali going up the line. She's going to take on the number five from Singapore. Beats one. Doesn't beat two. Knocks the ball out of play. Throwing Singapore. Just under five minutes left. Need something special now. We're starting to clutch at straws from the Bearcat point of view. 
you go five. I do remember about six years ago, Middlesbrough played Norwich in the in the Premiership. Middlesbrough winning 4-1 with about seven minutes on the clock and ended up drawing the game 4-4. Mr. McGuinness would have enjoyed that performance, I'm sure. Or d actually, didn't I think Middlesbrough might have been 4-1 down and drew 4-4. Either way, Middlesbrough didn't win. Kenny there with the pass, threaded pass through to Steffi. Steffi to Natasha. That was fortunately stuck between Caroline Inderbrecht's thighs there, that attempted shot. Either way, she gets the ball downfield, clears the problems for... There's another shot, there's a, another good save from Megan Martin. I think that would have been a hat-trick for Casey. Carletta. Denied by Megan. To Singapore, they're not they're not slowing things down. They haven't slowed the tempo of their game down. They keep attacking, and they keep doing a great job. They're going to be a very difficult be team to beat in this tournament. Don't think ISM need to worry too much about this. It's not like they've they're in a losing position to a to an average or a poor side. Singapore do look good, no doubt about it. Champions for the last two years, and they'll be looking to maintain that or to continue that run. Seen some good signs from the Bearcats, certainly in the final third. Final third, three or four are very good attacking players. If they can clear their lines a little bit better, get the ball out of the six and 18 yard box, then they'll be in a lot better shape. Paulina Carlson there just clearing the ball for another corner. So here comes the corner, right footed, in swinging, towards the front post. Oh, there's a goal, number, number 13 for Singapore, freshman Mackenzie Warner. What a great start to her IASIS career. She's played very well, the time she's spent on the field, she's, she's been on and off a, a little bit, but very composed, nice left footed Five nil now to five one. Sorry to Singapore. Only a couple of minutes remaining. I think that I think that's the nail in the coffin for for the Bearcats for this game. But they'll be out fighting this afternoon. They certainly came into this thinking that Singapore were going to be one of the stronger teams and. First games are tough anyway, especially when you're, especially when you're playing at, f at home in front of a big crowd. It's very difficult to maintain your composure and to maintain your focus. Singapore still attacking, despite their lead, they're still going forwards. Admiral performance from the Eagles. Sorry, I didn't get too carried away with my enthusiasm for the the fourth and fifth goal for Singapore. Uh, I am a Bearcat through and through. That'll never change. But uh, congratulations to the to the Eagles. No, oh, no one will deny that. No one will deny that they deserve this win. They do. They could have had a sixth there. Good stop from Megan Martin, closing the shot down from our almost hat trick hero Casey. She got a hand on her hips. I think she's. Wondering what she has to do. She had two great shots after two fantastic goals to seal a hat trick, but they've both been saved well by Megan Martin. Here we go with the Singapore corner. Long corner this time. Cleared by Paulina Carlson. Out to the number two. There's the, the sirens gone for full time, but it's all up to the referee now. Hopefully, it'll allow about 20 minutes of time. Give Manoa enough time to score seven goals. Even though they only need six. Five. That's why we need Mr. Hillman up here. His mathematics is a little bit better than mine. Just a little. Don't use calculators to do all my work in, in my subject. Singapore, even in the dying 
the dying embers of this contest. They're still going, for, still pushing Manila back. Very good performance from Singapore American School. Any Eagles out there, feel free to let me know how impartial I've been in this game. Send me a tweet at D-O-D-D-Y. Steffi Fernandez there almost broke through, but disconsolate figure. She trundles back into a position. There goes the final whistle. Singapore American School with a good win there, 5-1 against ISM. ISM to this afternoon's game and improving on their performance this morning. Or this afternoon, I guess. But 5-1, 2-0 at half time. Those of you that are interested, if you're following ISM, they're on the field again, but the boys this afternoon will be on the on this field with the commentary. Not sure whether it'll be myself, hopefully someone a little bit more articulate than myself. And the symphonic tones of Mr. Ding Grandor. And the idyllic rumblings of Eugene Homer. I used to call him Coma, but that is actually his name, but Homer sounds much better to me. We'll see who turns up for this afternoon's games. Looks like the ISM Bearcats, the boys, are already taking the field. Actually, I, I think they might be due to start in five minutes. So, so I guess I don't even have time for my third pie of the day. My colleague here, Fran Howarth, laughing at me, saying to herself, I don't need one. Well done to both teams, a 5-1 victory to Singapore American School. The next match will be at 1.45 here on the high school field. ISM boys versus ISB boys. The boys and girls transfer fields for the afternoon session. First match here at 1.45 will be ISM versus ISB. And over on the middle school field, that game, the Jakarta and... Taipei game is just about to finish, so the start time on the middle school field for the girls, Taipei versus ISKL, has also been pushed back until 1.45. That means for the middle school field, SAS ISB game will be 